And Russia joins the list of countries lining up to sanction North Korea, but some believe the move may not put much pressure on the regime's economy. Lee Min Young tells us more. Just a day after Switzerland announced a comprehensive range of sanctions on North Korea, Russia has joined the countries turning the screw on Pyongyang, adding a new set of financial and trade sanctions to the already extensive list. According to Radio Free Asia, the central bank of Russia announced measures on Thursday to suspend all financial transactions with the North. This includes any assets related to North Korea's nuclear and missile programs and the Workers' Party. The Russian sanctions are in line with UN Security Council Resolution 2270 in March, imposed after Pyongyang's fourth nuclear test and intercontinental ballistic missile launch earlier this year. Moscow plans to freeze all assets related to North Korea and is looking into closing all financial accounts with links to the regime's nuclear and missile programs. The statement added that Moscow will continue trade with North Korea only with prior approval from the UN Security Council. But would Switzerland and Russia turning their backs on the Hermit Kingdom have a significant impact on North Korea's economy? We can interpret Russia's decision as a positive sign that traditional close allies of North Korea are collectively working towards nuclear disarmament of the regime. However, I doubt that this would have that much of an impact on North Korea's economy, as most North Korean assets have already been moved or financial transactions halted when the UN imposed its sanctions. The expert added that when it comes to pressuring the North, especially in the economic sense, the real game changer is China. Lee Min Young, Arirang News.